ladies and gentlemen, these wrestling exhibitions are sanctioned by the International Wrestling Alliance, promoted by Fred Kohler, supervised by the State Athletic Commission of Illinois. The attending physician at ringside, Dr. Serafin Dominguez. The timekeeper, Charlie Sidebottom. And the referee for this event is Percy Franklin. This is a tag team match, two out of three falls. Introducing from Hollywood, California, he weighs 220 pounds, magnificent Maurice, Maurice. And his partner also from Hollywood, he weighs 230 pounds, it's Johnny Barron, Barron. Handsome Johnny Barron. And their opponents on the opposite side of the ring. Introducing first from Jamaica, British West Indies, weighing 216 pounds, it's Dory Dixon, Dixon. His partner hails from Madison, Wisconsin. He weighs 254 pounds. Seaman Art Thomas, Thomas. Two out of three balls. Well, fans, promoter Fred Kohler's really got a great match to open tonight's wrestling champions from Chicago. A tag team match. Handsome Johnny Barron and his partner, the magnificent Maurice, will go against Dory Dixon, the Calypso Kid, and Seaman Art Thomas from Madison, Wisconsin. Look at the look at the build on that Seaman Art Thomas. Man alive, look at that man. He's 32 years of age. Thomas has been a pro wrestler for some five years. He has one of the finest physiques in wrestling, by the way. Just look at those, look at those shoulders and chest on that man. And the Calypso kid right alongside of him. Handsome Johnny Barron. And the magnificent Maurice. This is the best two out of three falls wrestling champions from Chicago. Thomas over in the far corner talking with the Calypso kid. This is handsome Johnny Barron. Oh, the magnificent Maurice is going to start off. So it's Maurice and Thomas. Maurice and Thomas. And Johnny Barron getting into the well, they're right above us here. They're right above us. Dory Dixon, the Calypso kid. Look at him staggering around there. Johnny Barron and the magnificent Maurice. And this is the Calypso Kid, and there's a good view of him. He's in trouble right now. <laughs> now Seaman R. Thomas. Well, everything's happening here, and the Coliseum is in an uproar. As a tag team match that's been going about three minutes and about uh, most of that time just about everybody's been in the ring. That's the magnificent Maurice looking out at the crowd and now he's pointing just now he comes over to talk with 
his partner Johnny Barron and look at those muscles Seaman R. Thomas what a physique and a reverse wrist lock applied by Maurice and there's a test of strength look at that shot Seaman R. Thomas says, no, sir, you're not going to get me down. And he gets away. Behind him up on the rope, the Calypso kid, Dory Dixon. Well, here's handsome Johnny Barron coming in now. He walks over and the crowd, well, sort of mixed. Some cheering and some booing. That's usually the way you find a wrestling crowd. Now he's got Thomas in a little bit of trouble here. Put a lot of pressure on that left arm. Well, he just, Thomas just won't give. Now they're both going to try it. They both go to work. Seaman R. Thomas. Resisting the pressure of Johnny Barron and magnificent Maurice. Goes back in the corner to say something now to the Calypso kid. Johnny Barron is from Rochester. He's getting out of the ring, and there is now his partner in there. So far for the other team, Thomas has been in there about 90% of the time. Thomas lifts Johnny Barron right up into the air and drops him right out on the ring apron. And the crowd is really getting a tremendous kick out of the exhibition of strength there by Art Thomas. A tremendous, tremendous hunk of man. Now he's got a full Nelson on Maurice. And Johnny Barron threw a right hand and hit his own partner. Johnny Barron and Magnificent Maurice. Famous tag team duo. Thomas is still in there. Reverse headlock. There's the Calypso kid coming in. is one of the roughest tag team matches we've ever seen <laughs> and this is the opening match on Fred Kohler's great show wrestling champions from Chicago and tonight coming from Chicago's Coliseum now Maurice and Baron the team arguing with each other. Yeah. 
the Calypso kid in the ring. And both members of the other team are in there as you can see. I'm Johnny Barron is out here right above us. Maurice in there with the Calypso kid. Now Maurice throws a right hand at handsome Johnny Barron, his partner. And boy, this place is really in an uproar. The Calypso Kid and Johnny Barron. Both the other partners out on the apron for a change. Barron trying to, trying for a press on the Calypso Kid. Who was champion of Jamaica, Mexico, wrestled all throughout Central America. The kid has been wrestling for some eight years, and he's still only 27 years of age. Went to the Olympics in 1954. Quite an athlete. Well, the crowd is really getting a lot of action. And a drop kick. Johnny Barron. And the magnificent Maurice. And now the Calypso kid with a pin. Well, that's the first ball. Now into the ring announcer, Dick Elliott, for the winner of that ball in the time. The time of that fall, nine minutes and 45 seconds. The first team fall awarded to Dory Dixon and Art Thomas. There you have it, the fans. Well, the, bang, the bell rang. Probably everybody couldn't hear it because of all the noise here in the Coliseum. This place has been in an uproar ever since this match started. The team of handsome Johnny Barron and magnificent Maurice against Dory Dixon, the Calypso Kid, and Seaman Art Thomas. Right now, it's the magnificent Maurice and the Calypso kid in there, and he caught a knee right in the pit of the stomach. Now Johnny Barron going to work on Dory Dixon. Well, the referee calling one choke after another. Here's Thomas coming in. Now it's Thomas and Barron going at it. Look at that. Oh, man, what a hunk of man. Art Thomas, 32 years of age. And a pro wrestler. There's a good shot of him for some five years. Johnny Barron on the move. Now grabs Thomas by that left arm. And a little hair pulling to get him down. Got his legs wrapped right around his neck. And the referee leaning in close says, choke, choke, come on, let loose. of skill and a lot of brawn in this tag team match on wrestling champions from Chicago. Now 
thought he had Thomas's shoulders pinned for a count of two, but he got to keep him pinned for three. There's a tag, and here's Dory Dixon, the Calypso kid. What an athlete this kid is. Oh, he's like a panther in that ring. Johnny Barron working on the Calypso kid. Throws him into the turnbuckles. Now he flies into the other corner himself. Talk about an athlete. Boy, this, this story, Dixon, is really something to watch. And a body slam and trying for a press here, and he's got it. That was Maurice. Now Thomas. Well, let's get into the ring announcer, Dick Elliott, for the time and the winner of that fall. The time of the second fall, making it one fall apiece, four minutes and 50 seconds, to Johnny Barron and Magnificent Maurice. The winner. Well, the bell rang, but you probably couldn't hear it because of the crowd. Now it's a fall apiece. Barrand and Maurice. Dixon and Thomas. And look at this. Everybody in action here now. And the referee, Percy Franklin, trying to stop it. Well, let's see what the let's see what the ruling is here. Well, let's find out. Let's get into the ring announcer, Dick Elliott, now for the decision. The time, 27 seconds. Referee Percy Franklin disqualifies both teams. There is no decision, no decision. 